Hello Scorpio, welcome back to the Illus Illuminator for your mid-month. So I hope you all are doing great. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on for you. This will be shortcut readings. I will have the extended reading for the You Said She Said Spread available on my website, theillusilluminator.com. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on for you guys. I was receiving... Um, Two messages. One was some of you are leaving a situation with probably an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo behind because it was just too stagnant. Things may not be moving forward and you're making your final judgment to go towards someone new. Uh, others of you, you may be reassessing some type of a project or a plan that you started a while ago which was not moving but now you're getting the green light and you're getting the right customers or the right uh, answers that you were seeking for and it's going to be a very um, I'm hearing documents, so for some of you, you might be signing up some, for some type of document or getting some type of a answer that is written, like a written document or whatever it is, okay? Something in that realm is what I'm getting through. Sorry, I just couldn't find the words. Let's see. What are the messages for Scorpio? Emperor, in the reverse, some of you may be dealing with an Aries. Oh gosh, this Emperor comes up very often. Well, then we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, this looks to me as if maybe in the past things were just not in your control or you were trying to control a situation in your life, but it was really not in your power. Um, you might have been dealing with someone that was highly manipulative and very controlling as well. And you needed to really persist in um, in what you were saying or doing towards this individual. Like I'm, I'm, I'm getting this vibe as you persistently need, needed to say no to this situation or to this individual and be very um, diligent in who you are and what you want out of a situation. Now this could be in love, but this could also definitely be in terms of you know, work or anything like that or towards your father even. Maybe your father was trying to push you or force you into doing something and it was not in alignment with your soul and you really consistently had to say no to it is what I'm picking up on. Now this emperor could be anyone, you know, there are thousands of people watching so try to see whatever that is for you. Yeah, you've got the five pentacles in the reverse. So I feel for some of you, you really empowered yourself and were like, you know what? Um, this is a risk that I'm taking to not be involved, like, involved with someone that is controlling and manipulative. And despite the fact that I, I, I okay, sorry. Relax, relax. Despite the fact that you had to go at it alone, you chose the hard way. You, you chose the hard road and not the easy way out. So this to me feels like you overcome some type of a very difficult situation in your life. It could be even financial situation in your life because you were like, you know what? I'm going to do it myself in my own way and I'm not going to listen to what someone else tells me to do because it's just not in alignment with me is what I'm getting what is what I'm getting here and now that you're slowly but surely coming out of that stagnation um, for most of you like I said it could be financial stagnation that you're coming out of or just a lot of difficulties that you've been encountering in the past you're now starting to pick up a lot of things in your life like pick up a lot of uh, new ideas, picking up a lot of new jobs or new uh, orders or whatsoever in your own field and you're becoming more and more busy each and every time like there is a lot of movement and there's a lot of flexibility that is required from you In the heart of your reading, you've got the Page of Wands. And then we got the Fool, again, Aries, and then the Wheel of Fortune right next to it. Mm. 
the moon. Two of Cups and the Hierophant. Okay, this looks good. It's starting to go towards love. So I feel like when it comes to your stability, your finances, you're slowly but surely picking yourself back up. Even if you were, um, you know, self-employed, perhaps things were just not going in your favor due to whatever is going on currently. So there could have been some type of a loss, but you're recovering real fast from that loss. And uh, if you don't feel like that right now, that is about to happen within, within two weeks uh, there or two months latest, you're going to pick up, pick things back up. Um, I do feel like you, um, deep down inside, there is someone around you that you do not want to communicate with. You may have blocked a little bit communication off with this individual or vice versa. It's because you feel like things are not as enthusiastic as they used to be or not as playful or open as it used to be like the passion could be a little bit lacking on your end Scorpio because you're just not focused on um, on love or there is this energy around you that is just not mainly focused on you know communicating with a loved one but I feel like very soon there are a lot of energies that are going to pick up real fast for you because you've got the fool with the wheel of fortune right next to it I feel that if you've blocked the communication or vice versa someone in this connection is out of the blue going to come in and want to rekindle things there is a new start a new beginning that is going to lead to a lot of great opportunities a lot of things are going to move forward in your favor things that were destined for you to come into fruition things that were destined for you to manifest in this lifetime you're gonna all like have it come at you at once like you're gonna probably have a very busy period coming up after a period of limitation and stagnation going on so i do pick up this uh roller coaster energy for a lot of people and the fool with the wheel of fortune does look like a roller coaster energy where you just need to have faith in the universe you just need to you know jump the gun a little bit and just don't be scared to take risks that are um, that are destined for you to take, right? Like if the universe puts you in front of that door or in front of that opportunity, it just means that it's time for you to take it. You don't need to, you know, fuss about it or overthink the situation. Just go with the flow. Even if it's with love, just go with the flow. Whomever comes in wants to have a second chance. This time around, it is a perfect divine timing right so make sure that you um you know that you take on this energy as well to leave the past behind to leave this stagnant energy behind as well the moon in the reverse so you might be dealing with a piscean kind of energy pisces aries cusp but anyhow with the moon i feel like there is someone here that may have been withholding some secrets from you or were not was not very open and honest about their about their feelings and there was a lot of confusion but you are coming out of that confusion things are going to get very very clear to you and the beautiful part of it is that you're going to understand that this person truly has feelings for you so if that was an illusion or if you were confused you were not sure the two of cups is here saying that you're going to be surprised that what you were thinking about this individual is completely the opposite. They do have a lot of feelings for you. And I feel that both of you are going to compromise and get into some type of relationship. I do, I, I see this in many readings. Like this, this, these mid months have a lot of positive turnarounds. So not sure what is about to happen here, but I, I do see a lot of people coming together, a lot of unions, a lot of reconciliations going on. I do have here the Nine of Cups. So this is going to be a very shocking uh, wish come true. So be careful what you wish for because it's going to be granted for you. Um, so yeah, this is definitely something that you've been manifesting. You know, emotionally, you've been really manifesting this, this union to come together and it's about to really happen. Could be a Taurusian as well, Taurus energy represented here. 
but this is the Hierophant, this is wisdom. You're gonna finally close out a chapter with this individual and it's going to be one that is going to lead you to... Um, it's going to lead you to a lot of changes in your life, commitments, all right? This, this situation is going to lead you to a full commitment in your life. Now, this could definitely be, you know, a partner when it comes to finances or your career. It could definitely be also a partner that you're going to commit to uh, contract-wise. That is going to be very beneficial for you. So for some of you, I do get also that you may be signing up a current contract. A long-term contract or like a um, you know permanent contract that is going to make you really really happy so congratulations so let's see very specific information here a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo you got a lot of Virgo energy here though Scorpio but let's see yeah your hard work is paying off <laughs> Look at this. Believe in the possible blue moon. This is something that comes in once in a blue moon. That's the type of wish fulfillment that is about to take place in your life. Like I already said, because you got the fool and the wheel of fortune here. So in your heart, you're like, I'm never going to get that response. I'm never going to get that um, outcome. But, you know, don't lose your faith. Believe in the impossible because it's going to happen. Whatever it is that you have on your mind right now. Your hard work is paying off. This is definitely a lot of hard work. Perhaps you've overworked yourself, controlled the situation way too much, and then there was a time of you needing to let go of that control and you felt disappointed with the Five of Pentacles there. And now things are about to pick it back up. Mental repetition, yeah, look at this. So you may have been overthinking a situation or not truly daring to take some type of a risk here as well. You need to stop. You don't need to do anything, but like repeating a situation over and over and over again in your mind is not going to help you move forward. So try to release that. You've got kindness. So perhaps it's time for you to do something sweet or nice for someone in your surrounding or an elder individual. Um, this is all about good karma, being kind and loving towards people. Perhaps even like if you're walking outside on the streets, just smile or, you know, raise up the vibration, raise up the energies. And I know that a lot of people need that, you know, especially if you're in the US, you know, there's a lot of things going on so try to raise up the vibration try to be friendly and kind and uh, loving right so yeah that's your reading my dear good reading i hope you will um you will take what resonates and leave what doesn't and if you like it please do not forget to share uh, the video or like the video and I will continue on the He Says She Says spread on my website. So I see you guys over there. Thank you and see you in July. Bye.